So the latest update of Android 15's Beta 3 is here. Android 15's Beta 3 is now released with the latest security patch. It's public beta and if you are, if you are using a Pixel device, supported Pixel device and want to get hands-on, simply install it directly from google.com, I mean flash.android.com or else if you want to update through OTA, if you have enrolled into already, so check that out. But the one of the biggest change or one of the first changes actually is now Android version is now listed as 15 instead of vanilla ice cream which was there from the past few updates. It's now renamed to Android 15, no more vanilla ice cream. Some visual changes, one of them is wallpapers and style. If you open settings, you will get same kind of UI. But for example, if you open this UI and want to enable a wallpaper, want to apply a wallpaper, then the UI will be changed to this one. As you can see, we have this kind of preview available with the home screen and lock screen. And also if you have AI wallpaper support, then instead of this I button, you will see the option to generate an AI wallpaper or some extra options related to that. You can also adjust the view, adjust some things here in the wallpaper, adjust the density, etc. A lot more things which you can do. So yes, this is one of the visual changes included with the latest Android 15's Beta 3 update. The UI is kind of looking quite good to be honest and in my personal opinion, I love this. And as you can see, you also have the option to choose between home screen, lock screen. I mean, the changes and features are literally same, but the UI is now changed. So in this update, basically most of the visual changes are there. Some UI changes are there. And this could be the stable update although, by the way, because it's beta 3, all the features, I guess, are implemented. So in future, if you use Android 15 stable version, these features will definitely be there in just month or so. We also have the new updated screenshot UI. For example, if you take a screenshot, you will see different kind of animations there. Not exactly animations, but as you can see, these buttons, these options are different here. Now it's in circle shape as compared to the old one. This look good, I guess. I mean, we have some new changes available here and there, and this is one of them. Whenever you take a screenshot, for example, if I try to screenshot, take a screenshot once again, as you can see, these are the two buttons which you have and the UI is bit changed. Not a major change, but because it was there, it is one of the visual changes. I definitely just wanted to let you know. Including that screenshot UI, the clipboard UI is also changed. So for example, if you copy any text and open this, as you can see, we have these kind of options available. The options were already there although, as I just mentioned there, but some visual changes are here. And so as like screenshot UI, we have similar kind of UI available with the clipboard too. So yes, these are some visual changes included with the latest Android 15's public beta 3. And yes, it's not developer beta, it's a public beta. Definitely quite stable as compared to the previous one. A lot of bugs are fixed here and I'm, I'm definitely going to use it for some time for sure on my primary device, most likely. Also, if you move on to the Pixel Launcher, you will see a new change in the apps list setting, basically a new option named as Show Long App Names. I guess it was already included with few updates, then just gone back. I mean, we have beta updates available. Sometimes you have same feature available. Sometimes you have not. Long app names mean, for example, if an app has a longer name, then the app name will still be visible there by enabling that option. Similar, as you can see, volume panel was already changed there. But with this new update, the volume panel animation also has this predictive back animation available. Previously, when you enable the expanded volume panel, if you go back, done, nothing else. But in this case, if you go back, you have this new predictive back animations, which are enabled by default with the Android 15's update. And if you want to know more about other changes, etc., what you can do so, you can check out my previous videos on Android 15. All the updates I made a video on, the changes available and actually everything. So make sure don't to miss out. In display settings, you will see color contrast options which were available in wallpapers and style section, but it's available in the display settings already. You can go and explore that. One of the things which I found here is a circle to search is available in directly in the navigation mode. Previously, it was in the gesture navigation or the three button navigation. You have to open the settings there. But in this case, if you open navigation mode, circle to search is directly there. These were some visual changes I just wanted to let you know. If you have any queries, etc., make sure to comment below. This is all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.